Welcome back to the Balance Out of Entertainment, the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, we don't need to talk about the ability, disability. If you say you don't start the show with us, you go down and hear us. We talk about this thing since uh, when we start the show this morning. Now, several times people they talk about somebody being disabled. Say the person get disability, disability. Maybe uh, the person get one limb, but one hand, no, they, the person not see road or not here. Now, why we get so many people where they live with disabilities or with challenges, if you will put it on that way, physical challenges, uh, some people don't decide, say, they're not going to let this one turn to disability for them. Instead, they're going to do better things with waiting they get. While others decide, say, they could just sit down there, uh, either they beg for arms, or just they find people who will help them. Now, we get somebody who will join us in the building today. She done day here before with us. And she could follow us talk this particular matter because she knows firsthand what it means to live with somebody we get a special kind of disability. We would like make you join us as we welcome uh, the executive director. Her name is Crystal Chigbu. Uh, she did... She had, well, make her just start from there, first of all. Her name is Krista Chik, but she don't day here with us before. I'm going like to welcome her back to the studio. Welcome, Krista. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I know that the Reddit Foundation, though, they do a lot of things as regards to um, people we need prosthetic limbs. Now, what's in the, some of the challenges where you don't they face so far? Um, so one of the biggest issues that we've had is trying to get the children into school mm. because some schools actually refuse the children from being put in school. And so... This month is actually Lima Loss Awareness Month. Mm. And for us, it's really crazy because the stigmatization is really huge. And a lot of people cannot get their children into school or a lot of people cannot get jobs or access a building. So um, a lot of the people that I know that are on wheelchair cannot get into banks. So it's really, really tough for them as individuals to live their life to the fullest in a place like Nigeria. So that's, I would say, is one of the biggest challenges right now, ensuring that people with disability are included in the society, whether it's school, whether it's jobs, whether it's getting married, just a lot of, a lot of problems as a result of that. Now, I, I, if, I, if I remember clearly, the last time we've been joining us for the studio, you've been talking about um, the challenges in getting these prosthetic or artificial limbs for people. Yes. I've been talking about how they didn't take cost reach, talk about uh, people's support, people where they donate. From that time reaching now, that's about over a year, um, what is the response don't be so far? Um, so from people, it's getting better and better mm -hmm. because a lot more people don't they know about them, so they know what they will take you. But from our own side, what we have also done is to set up a lab. And from the lab, we are actually assembling the components of the prosthesis. So we bring wow. in the materials, but we, are, we, we bring it together in our lab. Mm -hmm. And so when we put it Together that way, we're able to reduce our cost by about 20%. So that is making it even more available. And I think a lot of people are talking about disability right now. So it's something that is getting into the fiber of people. And so it's getting better, really. You actually mentioned something earlier. You say um, that they reject um, yes. children where they say one issue or the other don't affect your leg. So yes. they're not... Why? Because... Um, for me, I think it's more of the awareness. People don't know anything. So some people think it's communicable. Like, oh. you go so catch you another give and, and that person exactly. may better not so, get a leg. So, you, I mean, parents will take their children out of a school because they feel, say, the school, they take children will get disabilities. So they don't want to make their kids mix up with children will get disabilities. So it's really bad. Um, I think it's also oh. ignorance and people not knowing. And so that's why one of the things that we are focusing on right now is to create awareness and ensure that that nonsense stops. So I know so you get a beautiful daughter where um, she gets to use them um, prosthetic limb because yes. something be happened to her where they need to cut one of her leg. You they try and let us know say now some of the challenges where you they actually face as regards to education too. Um, well, I, I would say I have been privileged. Okay. I've not um, had um, such issues with the schools that I have used. Uh, but one of the things that I told someone yesterday is education actually starts from the person with disability themselves, you know, being able to educate them, helping them to know who they are in spite of the disability that they have. So um, you can't even stop her because she already knows her rights. Mm. She knows who she is and all of that. I've not faced that challenges, but there are people that have come to the foundation, more than about 30% of children that we have helped at the foundation, and they've had issues with school, and they've had to take the children away from one school or the other because nobody is accepting. Currently, I have a child in Asaba. Um, that had a prosthetic limb, mm -hmm. and the limb went bad. And when the limb went bad, the school actually told the boy to stay at home because they will not be able to move him around. 
until we were able to fix the limb and then he was able to go back to school. Mm, in fact, now the, now the next question we want to ask about, say, um, these schools and these institutions so that they get the, you know, the capacity to handle such special yeah. needs children. Because apart from just the disabled children, yesterday we talked about children with autism. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk, there are also children who get dyslexia. First mm -hmm. of all, when you say physical challenges are something you feel see, you know. So, but sadly, these other ones, it, it know be something you feel just identify by yeah, looking at exactly. the children. So those challenges there. But then the question we are also want to push forward, we say, um, you don't get the knowledge and you, you, get, you, you get the know-how, basically, you and probably your mm -hmm. team, on how to handle or how to take care, how to care for children with these disabilities. How want I take they share this knowledge to enlighten other people so that they too go feel partake in this thing and they go feel help. Because on the one hand, if we accuse these people, say they don't want to do them. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if we say they don't sabi do them. So how we go feel take enlighten them so that they go they go they empowered with the ability to help these kind of children. So um, one of the things that we do, we, we get one pillar where we call educate. Mm. So for us, under that educate program, not be only to educate people with disability, but not to educate schools, not to educate the society at large. So from time to time, we they go schools, go train the teachers, go talk to them, say um, limb loss not be the end of life. You know, they, you know, end person life. So one of the skills that you need to have is not necessarily this, you don't need anything special to be able to have a child um, it, with disability in your school, especially with limb loss. And also you can include things like ramps in your facility to ensure that the children can easily access the classrooms. Mm. So we're doing the education work. I think there's still a huge uh, part of it that we still need to continue to do. That's why this year our focus is majorly on education and advocating for people to join and ensure that we have inclusiveness in the society, especially with the disability law that has been mm, put into yes, place right finally. now, ensuring that there's implementation mm -hmm. of that bill that has been passed. Now, we just watch a video now, um, a video maybe, let's say now, one of our campaign to educate the people more, like this particular video. You go see our very own Adenike um, Uyetunde there, and um, your beautiful, beautiful daughter there, and all, a lot of other people. Tell us more about this particular outreach you want to do. Um, so this outreach for us is really how we reach out to the society at large. We believe, say, a lot more people, apart from going to different schools, apart from going to the hospital, a lot more people need to hear it. So we call it out on a limb. Okay. And so we, we do it once a year, and we use it to spread the news across different states mm. in Nigeria. Uh, this year, we're going to be having it maybe in, in another, in, on the 13th, and we're doing it in 20 states in Nigeria wow. and 10 other locations outside of Nigeria. The idea basically is to let people know, say nothing day wrong with anybody who gets physical disability. Mm. They can be educated, they can join a walk like this, they can live their life to the fullest. And so you can see. I a, can see a, a children. Where yes. the students from your foundation? Oh, well, no, all the students are not from our foundation. So we have the children from the foundation and their friends and people oh. in the society. So anybody can be a part of the walk. It's just a two kilometer walk. It's not uh, strenuous. And you already see some people will even get one leg or even I get person where they walk when you get two legs for there and the person wow. is using the prosthesis. And so the children are just supporting and uh, trying to let other people know that they can live life to the fullest. Hmm. How easy it be for a person to use a prosthetic limb? Because I don't actually speak with some people and they talk say, the thing they actually pain them. Um, you know they're too easy. Uh, because, I mean, it's like wearing a wig or wearing your clothes. At some point you can outgrow it. And also, it's not the natural leg that God gave you or the natural hand that God gave you. But one of the things that happens with time is you get used to it. And that's why I think one of the funds of working with children, because they will learn to use it from when they are yes. small mm -hmm. till they grow up. And that's what they actually know to use, so they are comfortable uh, with it. So um, it's not something easy, but it's something that you can adapt and get used to. Um, I, I would like quickly, uh, you know, ask as well. Now, we know, say, everything they go on on social media, basically. Mm. What is the kind of response we will not get on social media concerning, um, you know, the Irede Foundation about helping people with, um, you know, prosthetic limbs or with disabilities, basically? I'll say the support is huge, mm. but um, it can still get better. Mm. Um, a lot of people, once they get to know what we are doing about, they start talking about it and they are excited about it. Uh, we get, a, I mean, I think like every other thing, you get some backlash sometimes. I think uh, people that are probably also in pain 
and realize that you know they cannot live their own life to the fullest and they just want to uh, be nasty but generally it's very good and also that's the medium where we get people even referred to us sometimes that need limbs so even this morning while i was here i got a text message from someone through facebook and the person was saying i i need calipers how can you calipers is another thing that you used to work okay. how can the organization help me to to get calipers so i'll say it's good and I'm excited about it. Your organization, is they easily accessible, especially for those where they actually watch now, where they get person around their area, where now just one leg or the two legs person not get them. Or even if you actually, or even hands, yes, mm -hmm. even hands. Plus, if you actually just easily access your yes. organization. Yes, our address is on social media. So if you just follow at the Rede Foundation, T H E I R E D Foundation, you will get all our information. You can walk into our office at any time. There's someone there that will be able to attend to you and at least to get the information. You can send an email, still info at still the ready foundation .org, and we will get your messages and we will get back to you. You don't try to join body with the um, government as regards to this particular initiative where you don't put on ground? Yes, we don't work with governments once. Mm -hmm. um, I think about three years ago, we actually worked okay. with the Lagos State Government. And currently, we are trying to smoothing the relationship to even get better Onwards. because there's a body okay. that is in charge of disability. Oh, so okay. we've gotten registered with them and then we're hoping that we can uh, do a lot more, mm -hmm. especially with advocacy through that body. Mm. Okay. Uh, wonderful thing that they do so far, the Ready Foundation. Mm -hmm. And we really appreciate that. We hope, say, um, a lot of people will also uh, key into this one. Uh, please, again, I saw you, you don't mention, you said on the 13th, when is the next yes, day? Yes, on the 13th of April. April okay. Oh, this uh, month. This mm -hmm. month, just oh, the nice. two Saturdays from now, mm -hmm. okay. we'll be having the work. And for Lagos here, we get one work for Ikoi, uh, 77A Ikoi uh, for Lagos, where you get a YMCA building, just yeah. there along Awolowa Road. But also, we did Mushin that day, we did work from Lut. Uh, because we know there are a lot of uh, people with disability around mm -hmm. that area too. We they work even from Ikorudu uh, for Lagos. And if you go on our social media handles, you see all that locations. We they mm -hmm. are Belkuta, we they work from Ibadan, we they work for Jigawa, we they work wow. from Kano, Kaduna. So we just spread everywhere where we get speaking, where we don't help before. Uyo, we, we they put um, all the things together to make sure that the work happens there mm -hmm. and anybody can join the work. You don't need anything to join the work. It's free. And so we just expect you to be a part of just it. Be before you go, let me quickly ask. Uh, we know, I know, say, I remember say, personally, I've been asked this question the last time, and I'll ask <laughs> again so that people go know, say, this thing no easy funding. Every organization will be a non government organization need funding, and funding is one of the biggest challenges. Very true. How now they take get in that funding? And if people want support, how can they reach out uh, concerning funding? Um, funding, yes, one limb costs at least, it's the smallest limb, maybe like one million. Uh, one for, million yes because it gets different components where they make together mm. the limbs and especially because we know they make the limb for nigeria it they very difficult and you start say person fear at grow yeah yeah picking go out grow and then they grow, tall, and then they grow wow. fast uh, so then they outgrow the limb and you need to change from time to time um you can give to the foundation again through our social media and mm -hmm. and you can give as little as 500 naira i get people where they give us 500 naira every month and they just mm. they consistent because when we put all the monies together we they actually use that uh, provide the limbs uh, for the children so whichever way you can reach out mm. through our social media and those and you'll be able to give so anything you have to give you can't even give your time because yes, we get people true. where they come around just they give their time they try see how they can work together with us to make sure that we can put the right message out there for other people to also reach out. Nice. And right now we're doing a challenge actually. Okay, what's the challenge? And if you can only stand on one leg and hop um, 10 steps forward, we get a thousand naira from one of our sponsors uh, for it. So, and you can put the video either on Facebook or on Instagram. So if you also go on our social media and do, you will see um, how, how we are talking about that challenge. So mm. in Just the next to stand step, on one leg and, and then you hop move. 10, ten steps. steps. And ten see how steps. easy. I don't say it's not that easy, but I feel trying yeah, just to try. join the train. Just to I join will, the train. I go try. And if you try them, you put them up, we get 1,000 naira. So imagine, say, 5,000 of us, ah. they yeah, do the campaign. Then mm. we can give five children limbs. Wow. Amazing. So you need to actually jump into this particular one. Follow them on top Instagram, the Dede Atire Day Foundation. Very, very easy um, yeah. for you to actually um, just locate them on top Instagram. And please, if you want to sponsor the work, we go share the April 13th. Um, please, you can actually contact her. Send her message on top of Instagram. She did it at the Irede Foundation. I R E D E Foundation. Very, very easy. Thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you. So Thank you for having us.
To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.